This is the news you need to know, brought to you by Healthcare Solutions. With 2023 almost in our rearview mirror, it is now time to think about what's changing in 2024. From new minimum wages at the state and local levels to new laws and regulations, there is a lot that goes into effect on January 1st. We've put everything together in one toolkit called New in 2024 on our website at wahospitality.org. Be sure to bookmark this page because we will add to it throughout the year as new laws go into effect. If you missed the deadline to complete the National Restaurant Association Operation Survey, we've been granted an extension. By participating in the survey, you gain access to valuable industry data, such as profit margins, labor costs, and food cost ratios. Your involvement also helps analyze potential impacts of legislative proposals on the industry. Together, we can amplify our voice to policymakers at all levels. To take the survey, click on the link in the description below. If enough people participate, we will receive a Washington-specific report. November was a pretty good month for local government affairs. That's due to the results of last month's local elections. The latest CEO podcast recaps the results and gives us a look at what they could mean. We had an opportunity to really shift council, especially considering there were four council members that were not seeking re-election, so we were definitely going to have a change in our, our representation. Joining Washington Hospitality Association President and CEO Anthony Antone were two members of our local government affairs team. The trio discuss how local elections are going to shape cities in Washington in the coming years and how local minimum wage efforts are faring in several communities. You can listen to the episode on wahospitality.org or wherever you listen to your podcasts. That's the news you need to know. Thanks for watching and thank you to Healthcare Solutions for sponsoring this video.